Hello, my fellow creatives. So I wanted to follow up with a video I did last week on, um, so I have work, now what? Um, this is gonna be part two of that. So last week I told you to define your work, to make sure you had 15 to 20 pieces of work that tied together in some way. And now that you have that, you have to figure out, now what do I do? What do I do with my artwork? Um, and this can go for emerging artists and this can go for artists who've been doing it for a while um, because this principle applies to everything, okay? Whether you just want to show your work and you don't wanna sell it or you do wanna sell it and make a living from it, this goes for everyone, okay? So what you need to figure out is what kind of work you do, okay? And what I mean by that, figure out, does it fit a lifestyle? Does it fit a theme? Um, for example, if you paint horses, not everybody loves horses, so you have to figure out where your customers are for that. If you paint oceanscapes, um, your customer's not gonna be hanging out in Kansas, more than likely, okay? They're gonna be at the ocean. Or they're going to visit the ocean on vacations. So you need to have your artwork in places that those people go, all right? So um, that is what you need to do. You need to define who your art speaks to. And when you're first starting out, maybe it's not that clear. Maybe maybe you don't know yet. This is why I go back to, you have to have a cohesive body of work. You have to have something that ties all together and know what your art is about. Know your why. Why you're doing this. What your work is about. Um, if you do portraits of, say, children, you would never market to people who don't have children, right? So you really need to understand what your work is about so that other people can understand what your work is about. So once you know what your work is about, um, and, and if you don't, that's okay. When you're starting out, I will say when I very first started out, I, I painted things that felt good to me, that were pretty to me. Um, I had a lot going on in my world and I thought there's a lot of negative in the world so I wanted to paint pretty things but I didn't really necessarily know how that translated into a customer and as the years went on I started to see a theme in my work and it's not necessarily the same customer I have now but when I started out after only two shows there was a common theme in my customer and um, nearly all of my customers were around 30, give or take, females pushing a baby stroller. Usually they had um, their first home, they bought their first home, and they wanted original artwork, but they, they couldn't afford gallery prices because gallery prices tend to be pretty high. So they wanted artwork that they could afford, but that wasn't mass produced, say from um, Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that, some home store. So uh, that was my customer. And once I figured that out, I knew exactly where to put my work, where those, those people visited my demographic. So that's your goal. Figure out what your work is about. If it's about healing energy, if it's about yoga, if it's about uh, horses, um, if it's ethnic, if it's what whatever it's about, then you can look at who your customer is, okay? And that's important because not everybody's gonna love your work. I'm sorry to tell you that. Not everybody loves my work. Not everyone's gonna love your work. Your work is not for everyone, okay? Your work is for the people who are gonna buy your work or enjoy your work. So you gotta figure out who those people are. I would challenge you as a creative to either paint, draw, or take a picture of your ideal person and then put a description beside them just like I did. I would have 
uh, taking a picture of somebody in their early 30s, late 20s with a baby stroller. And I mean, I, I can give you an exact detail of who she is. Now my market has changed a little bit or my demographic has changed a little bit and that's okay, that, that you can change that. But to market um, into that, you need to figure out who your customer is and then figure out where they hang out, okay? And you can, don't just look small. Um, I mean, whether you're looking at a yoga, yoga studio or a wellness center or a conference, or if you're doing horses, you're advertising in a horse magazine, so your um, work gets to a larger audience, but figure out where your people are hanging out and put your work there, okay? It's actually pretty simple. It's not too hard, but it does take some brainstorming on your part. And if you don't know, then figure out who your customer is and start following along. Start going to the some of the places, or if you know somebody, for example, uh, let's say you paint horses, but you paint them because they're beautiful, because you love them, but you might not necessarily be part of that equestrian world, then find somebody who is and pick their brain. Where do they hang out? What saddle clubs do they go to? Um, what events do they go to? Do they go to any festivals or conferences? And, and figure those things out, and that will start giving you a, start giving you an idea of where to put your artwork so your customer is finding it. The only other thing I want to address here is I get a lot of pushback when I talk about this because a lot of artists go or say, I don't want to be pigeonholed. None of us want to be pigeonholed, okay? But um, if you want to sell work or you want to get your work in front of people, you have to focus. You have to figure out who is going to see your work. And maybe it won't be the same person every time as your work evolves, um, but you do have to be able to market to at least one demographic. So figure out who that is and work on something else in the background or put it somewhere else. But um, you can still work on those things, but you're not gonna be marketing to a different group of people. If you want to make a living, you're gonna have to focus, okay? So, um, figure out what your work is about, figure out who your customer is, get as detailed as possible, and then figure out where those people are hanging out, where they're spending their time, their money, their attention, and go there, okay? So um, I'm gonna leave you on that note. Get busy, um, and we will follow up again in another week with a little bit more marketing advice. You guys have a great week, be creative, and go create an avatar. Talk to you guys later, bye.